What's going on everyone? Pavement here, back with a brand new series on the channel. My personal favorite game of all time, Luigi's Mansion. Happy Wednesday everybody. How is everyone doing? Uh, it's already been a long week and it's only Wednesday, so I figured, you know what? Let's start up a brand new series. Let's start up my favorite game and uh, just relax and chill and, and play some Luigi's Mansion, you know? So gonna go ahead and start off the game here look at him look at him obviously the graphics aren't the best because it's GameCube but absolutely amazing absolutely amazing I love this game <laughs> nice little map your mansion doesn't even have like a name doesn't look anything like it it's so funny it actually I just kind of realized it kind of looks like a monster house like the face part I don't know if you guys ever saw that movie Monster House. Um, it was like the dude like that owned the house. He was like this old man and like his wife or something like died in the basement or whatever. And she like possessed the house or some shit. Crazy. It's a kid's movie. It's a kid's movie. So crazy movie. It kind of creeped me out when I was a kid. But I remember playing that game. I think it was on GameCube actually. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Look at him. The beginning of the game is a little slow, uh, but I love it. I really do love it. All right, come on now. Cutscenes feel like a little bit long. Best part of this game, hopefully he does it. No. Oh, yeah. There it is, when he goes, oh yeah. And he like humps the furniture, it's such a meme. It's such a meme, I love it. Uh, okay, so we gotta go up these stairs right here. And then I'm pretty sure we try to go through. Yes, exactly. Right, and then you hear, like, their little laughter. And then this motherfucker bit chillin'. I love how, too, like, the ghost is, like, straight up invisible. And you could, like, just see the key through it. But, like, it was weird because the back of, or, like, yeah, the back of the key that's, like, on your side, you could see perfectly clear. And then the other side, like, is not even, like, sticking through anything. I don't know. It's, it's kind of funny. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> I love that. He does like the little peace sign, like stairs. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, Luigi's Mansion, definitely one of my favorite games um, of all time. If not my absolute favorite game of all time. Okay, I think I just got. Hang on one sec, guys. Okay, sorry. I had to cut there really quick. We're in the middle of a cutscene. Um, but I got, like, a little notification, and then Dolphin kind of bugged out. I mean, um, my actual GameCube that I am currently playing this on. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, obviously we meet, uh, well, not obviously, if you've never played this game before. But we are about to meet someone. Mr. Ghostbuster. Uh, Oh shit, should I do his voice? Uh, I don't even know what to do. I'm getting too old for this ghost-catching tomfoolery. Anyway, nice to meet you. I'm Professor Egan. I feel like the voice doesn't fit, but we're gonna roll with it. This house, I swear, it seems to have more ghosts every day. What's a young fella like you doing around here? Ready, who? Hmm? All these ghosts just pop up. <laughs> They're like, excuse me, gangman. Uh oh, this looks ugly. All right, youngster, look lively. Follow me. Post haste. Yeah, I feel like that voice does not follow him at all, but I don't know what other, like, old man voice to do, so we're calling it. So, your name's Luigi. I think our paths were destined to cross. Well, man, Luigi, hmm, what's this you ask? Why, these cozy quarters are where I do my ghost studying. Professor Egad's Ghost Research Laboratory. The lab, if you're a shortening mind, you won't. <laughs> you won this mansion in a contest you didn't even enter? Sounds pretty fishy to me. Luigi, how stupid do you really have to be? He's sitting here going, hey, uh, me and Mario won a mansion. We're just gonna go check it out. What the fuck do you mean you won a mansion? Get out of here. So you believe the mansion actually exists then? Strange. I've been living here since I was a lad of 20 or so, and I'll tell you that mansion appeared just a few days ago. The spirits have fooled you. I don't know if it's a dream or an illusion, or what all, but I surely wouldn't be too happy winning a haunted house. Now that I get a good look at you, I just recalled a guy with a red hat, kind of like yours, went up to the mansion without even stopping to chat, and he never returned. Was he a dream too? 
What? That guy was your brother? Oh no, that's horrible. He wouldn't stand a chance against those ghosts without my help. You have to go after him. Here's the plan. I'll teach you to deal with ghosts so you can rescue your brother, Luigi. <laughs> Luigi's fist pumps. He's like, yeah! Alright, cool. Controllers, we got this. We got this. That's vacuum cleaner engine needed to catch ghosts. I call it, this is genius, the Poltergeist 3000. <laughs> ha! I actually really like the name, like Poltergeist, but it's like Gust, because like wind. Anyway. <laughs> it can suck up all kinds of things. Let her rip. Use the R button to... F okay, I don't need to read this. I know how to do this. Okay. I played this game like a thousand times. Oh, okay. He's like actually just wants me to do it. Gotcha. No matter how strong you think your brother is, ghosts are mysterious beings. They can't be caught using conventional means, so you'd better use this. It's the only way to foil them. This is the only thing they fear, or something to that effect. <clears throat> well, how about we start your training? Ghosts seem to like the darkness and they avoid the light, so if you hit him with a flashlight beam, all of a sudden you can stun him momentarily. Then it's vacuuming time. Alright, alright. I'm not gonna read all this. Just give it a try, you'll learn more than that way. Just listen to me, yeah, buddy. Alright. Um, because I do know how to play this game. Like I said, I played this game like a thousand times. Um, if you've never played Luigi's Mansion before, hop on it. Because this is a fantastic game. I love this game. Remember, as soon as you see a ghost heart, that's your chance to vacuum them up. Okay. Gotcha. Um, so I remember, uh, when I was younger. So I used to have, uh, my GameCube in my room, and I had, like, a small TV up there. When that surprise ghost heart appeared... Okay. Um, yeah, so I used to have my, like, a, a little, like, tiny TV upstairs, um, in my room. And I had, um, my GameCube hooked up to it, so... Basically, like, me and my cousins or whatever uh, would just go up there and just play different games or whatever. We played uh, Mario Superstar Baseball a lot. Um, and then me and my cousin Juliana, shout out to you, Jules. Um, we specifically were obsessed with Luigi's Mansion. And it's not that I wasn't obsessed with it before, but, like, it was just really cool the fact that, like, one of my cousins that I was really close with was also really into the game and she really liked watching me play because it was just kind of like, you know, we just went upstairs and just sat and like played it all day long, so. Um, and I remember too. <laughs> Hang on. Well, how many did you get? Hmm. Yeah, I said eight ghosts. Go, Luigi. These ghouls, Luigi. Oh, go get those ghouls. Sorry. Uh, I'd say you're ready to look for your brother now. Fine, fine. Looks like you worked up quite a sweat there. How about a little cool down in the gallery? I'm quite proud of it, you know. All right, let's go to the gallery. Off we go. There's nothing in the gallery right now. Um, you can just see, like, um, if you've never played this game, these little things right here um, on the, like, right and left side. Can I, like, look at it? Yeah. So this is, like, number eight. Yeah, so these little things are paintings. Um, and basically, when you catch the boss ghost, they call them, like, painting ghosts. Um, and then this is also really cool. How the little wings move. That always creeped me out as a kid. But I like it. All right. Let's, uh, let's actually, like, actually hop in. Uh, yes. Okay, so I think we... Okay. Where are we going, Luigi? Yeah, let's go to the mansion. Sick! So, um, I'm thinking we'll probably catch a few ghosts for sure. Honestly, we'll probably get done with, like, the first whole area. Because it's it's really short. Uh, in this episode. Oh, a toad voice. Hello! Boo-ho-ho! -ho, where did you go, Mario? Huh? Luigi? W wow, it's Luigi! You finally made it! Oh joy, thank goodness! Me? Well, Princess Peach asked me to come here to look for Mario. He left when I heard that you'd won a mansion and never return. Th then when I arrived here, the mansion was full of ghosts and I didn't see Mario anywhere and I kind of freaked out a little and I don't know what to do! It's been awful! Please, please, you have to help me find Mario! If he doesn't get back, you have no idea how upset the princess will be. She'll flip! <laughs> Leave it to me. Yay, thanks, Luigi. You made my dark and stormy night. Hello. <laughs> I wish I could do something to help you. Wait, I got it. At least let me do this. All right, no. We're not going to save right now. We're just going to save, like, at the end of every episode. Talk to me for help anytime. Cool. Uh, is there money and shit in here? Now that I have the poltergeist? Nope. Um, this is always really cool, too. I really like this. So, uh, again, if you've never played the game, or if you have, maybe you didn't even notice this. So, basically... If you see a mirror and you click X, you get your Game Boy, <laughs> Game Boy Horror, which I love that instead of color. If you click on the mirror, it actually teleports you back to the main lobby. So wherever you are, it'll bring you right back to this position. So that's really cool. I always loved that uh, feature. But anyway, 
I don't remember what I was saying before. I was saying something about loving the game and like playing it and then I was gonna say something else and then I like totally forgot. Don't you love that? Don't you just love when you're like sitting there and you just lose your whole ass train of thought? Mario. Do it literally all the fucking time. Okay, so, oh, there's actually not ghosts in here yet. Um, oh yeah, the candles, the candles, candles. I've not played this game um, in a few years at least, at least a few years. I think I was actually still in high school the last time I played Luigi's Mansion. But um, I remember, you know what, I <laughs> remember what I was going to say. When I was younger, um, I used to love this game so much that I used to try to speed run it. Um, but like, I would literally, because like, in the past, I, I had like a little playroom that was like basically like right by the kitchen. So basically what I would do is I would go into the kitchen and look at like the stove clock mm -hmm. and I'd be like, okay, it's whatever, 12 o'clock. I'm gonna go and, and play the whole first area and then I'm gonna come back out and check the time and then, you know, whatever, whatever. And so like if it was 12 o'clock, I'd get done with the whole area and I'd come back and be like, okay, one o'clock. And then I'd write down like an hour. And then at the end of the game, I would just try to see how fast I could play it. I. It'd be really funny if I still had, uh, like, those papers, but I don't... I doubt I do. Probably threw them out years ago. <laughs> Who put out my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green! Well, dark rooms are dangerous around here, yes. They love the dark, and now they would get you, bleh. You're in for it, bleh. Just like the little red cup before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever! Are you afraid of the dark, little man? Are you? Huh? Bleh, there they are now! <laughs> I love- I love the painting. I wish those- Spoilers, again. I'm gonna keep saying if you haven't played the game- You know what? No spoilers. This game came out in like 2001, I'm pretty sure. If you haven't played it yet, stop the video and go play it. And then we'll talk. <laughs> um... No, but- I love those paintings. I wish those paintings were actual, like, ghosts. Like, I'm pretty sure, uh, this guy... Hang on. What the fuck? It's inverted. This guy right here, I'm pretty sure you could see his picture in a different room in the mansion. Um, so it's kind of just showing you, like, oh, maybe that's him. But I feel like they never really confirm that it's, like, these guys or not. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like it'd be cool if you caught one of them... Um, then, like, maybe this picture would disappear or something, you know? I don't know. I'm just rambling on at this point. Okay. So let's My hop in here, because this is where the key went. Um, I'm not going to watch the key cutscenes every single time, but the first one uh, had to get cut off, so we'll do that. The only key um, cutscenes that we'll watch is, like, the area keys. So, like, every time you beat, um, like, an area boss, an area painting ghost... They, um, the oh shit. Every time you beat like an area ghost, um, it like brings you back to like Egad's lab and whatever, and then you get like a really like cool key. There's like four different ones. There's, um, there's like a pink heart, there's a green clover, and then I can't remember the other ones. Yeah, you know what? I actually cannot remember the other ones for the life of me. I can only remember the first two. But yeah, th I, th I think there's like four of them. Um, so we'll, we'll watch those little cutscenes because like, it's only a few seconds long. It's not like a huge deal, you know? I think... Um, oh, shit, oh, shit. I think one of my only gripes with this game ever was just the fact that there's not like a whole lot of background music. Um, like you could kind of hear the background music here. You hear like the doot, 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 you know, like when you're trying to catch the ghost. And then, like, after Luigi, um, opens up the room, like, he'll start whistling. But, like, other than that, like, it's actually kind of a quiet game. And for me, um, nowadays at least, a lot of what makes a game memorable to me and a lot of what makes me want to play a game even more than I already do, um, is mainly just the music. Like, in order for me to really vibe with a game, I, I gotta like the music. Because if I don't like the music, I'm not gonna enjoy sitting there. It, there's gonna be no immersion, you know. Um, and that's a big thing. Uh, like, I love the Kingdom Hearts games. I love the Kingdom Hearts games. I'll probably end up playing them on the channel in the future. Um, but I love Kingdom Hearts. And I think a big reason as to why I love Kingdom Hearts is because of the music. Um, like, when Kingdom Hearts 3 came out, um, well, actually, this was before it came out, they featured, um, the opening track, which was, uh, made by Skrillex, and I can't remember, 
I can't remember the girl's name right now. She sings uh, Simple and Clean. Can't remember her name. But anyway, it was her and Skrillex, and they did a collab on, um, I believe it was called Face My Fears, and it was like the opening song to KH3. I must have listened to that song 8 million times. Like, I'm not even kidding. That was such a good track, and just all the game music is amazing. So good, so good. If you haven't played Kingdom Hearts, do it. It's at, um, I think they released, um, I think they released the full game, uh, like every single game, the full package. I think it's called, like, The Story So Far, I believe is what it's called. I think they just released that on Xbox a few months ago, and it's been on PlayStation 2 and, or, uh, PlayStation 3 and 4, so definitely play it. I want it to come to the Switch. I really, really do. Because Nintendo did have, um, Cage 3 games in the past, so that'd be cool. Anyway, enough about Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Alright, do I, do I have to read this every single time? How lucky that you found me. I feel so much better now. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to read Toad's dialogue every time unless it, like, really has to do with the story. This is just, like, an extra save point for you so you don't have to keep going down to the lobby. So that's uh, not a huge deal. I don't really feel super obligated to, to do that. But now, um... I believe we have the key for the hallway to the left, like right out here uh, at the top of the lobby. And that'll bring us to three painting ghosts. Oh, shit. Hold up, Prosecco Luigi. It's me, Professor Regan. I detect spirits tougher than we've seen lurking ahead. I think it might be some of those escaped gallery ghosts. You should know that they're really different from the other ghosts you've seen so far. They don't show their hearts very easily. Nope, not at all. When the first one, you should... Okay. Yeah, I got you. Sometimes you can learn the best way to surprise them. Well, Luigi, I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. Yeah, so basically what he's saying is if you see them, um, flash your little Game Boy Horror at them, um, it'll tell you what to do. Like, hang on, if I do this guy, because he's just, like, sitting in the chair here. Like, if I do this, it'll tell me, go ahead, try to find me. I can see you, but you cannot see me. Ho, ho, ho. So it's kind of like they're supposed to give you, like, little hints um, on how to beat them, which that one was not a hint at all, so I don't know what's going up with that. I think, I think there's a secret ghost here, a uh, blue ghost. Um, is it the, yeah, there he is. Oh, don't hit me. Okay, okay. Let's go. The, um, these blue ghosts, they're like, I believe they call them hidden ghosts. Um, they give you a ton of money, if you could not tell. I already caught one, um, earlier in the in the wardrobe room or the closet whatever you want to call it um they're like kind of scattered around the game i don't know all of their locations but I, I know a decent amount of them um but a lot of them even if you know their locations they only access like at certain parts of the game so but basically we got to wait for this guy to yawn there it is and then we could go in for the kill so all right all right doing good doing good can we get him in one shot tell me we can tell me we can come on Come on, we got him, we got him, we got him. We got him cornered. There it is. Let's go. Let's go. He's uh, obviously the first boss of the game, so obviously he's going to be the easiest. Um, but basically by catching ghosts in, like, one shot, you get, like, more and, like, bigger pearls, which gives you more money, which at the end of the game, um, if you have a ton of money, that brings up your ranking. So um, we're going to go for the top rank. I think it's, like, S or A rank. It's either S or A is the top rank. Um, we're going to go for it. I think I've only gotten the top rank like once because I usually just try to like speed run the game. Um, so, we'll see. But I'm trying to see if there's anything here because then uh, the ghost, the boss ghost is going to be all the way to the right. She's going to be fixing her hair. So, let's see. Yeah, I don't, I don't actually think that... Oh, there we go. I was going to say, I don't actually think there's anything here. Sorry, my controller just kind of, like, geeked for a second. I feel like my controllers are geeking all the time. Maybe it's just, like, lag? I don't know. Anyway. So we got to open this thing up, and then she's going to be like, oh, shit! She's like, oh, dear, such a draft. And then you're like, hey, bitch, come here. No, don't say that. Don't, don't call her. Bitch. We don't know her. We don't know if she's a nicer or mean person. Excuse me, miss. Can you not catch her in one shot? Maybe you can that's interesting. I think she was like at exactly 50%. So maybe they, maybe they cut you off and stop you. I know the, um, the area ghost, like the area bosses, they stop you from, oh, she was at 52. The area ghost, they stop you 
from catching them in one shot because there's like different phases to the fight. But anyway. So we caught her. Very nice. Uh, what was her name? I'm trying to remember all of their names. It's really hard. Uh, the first dude, I think his name was like Orville? Maybe? This girl, I don't, I don't remember her name. I... L Lydia, maybe? Like L-Y-D-I-A, Lydia. I think that was her name. And then, uh... Listen here. I love this ghost. This is one of my favorites. Um, so this is the area boss. As you saw, we just saw that little cutscene. So, obviously, here, we can't see anything. You can't... Well, you can see the heart. But, like, if we did this... Yeah, so it says horsey, rocky, horsey. And then, like, you see that the coins are around here. So they kind of handhold at the beginning of the game. Um, there's also a 50 heart in here, so. Um, is there anything else here? I don't think there's anything else in this room. Uh, but this ghost is Chauncey. And, um, me and, me and Jules used to, used to make fun of Chauncey all the time. Not, like, make fun of it, but, like, say the name Chauncey and just, like, think it's a funny name. I don't know. If your name is Chauncey, I'm sorry, but we think your name is funny. Hey, wanna play with me? Ow. Fuck that. Alright, so basically he's gonna throw these little bears at you. And what you're gonna want... Seriously? What you're gonna wanna do is, um... Basically just suck up these little bears here, because they're gonna fly at you. And then he gets pissed off, exactly. And then you just gotta hit him with... Well, actually, I don't even have to suck him up, to be honest. Yeah, you just gotta hit him with the ball. I think a couple times. No, just once. Yeah, you just gotta hit him with the ball, and then he's like, Hey, bitch. Oh, you gave me an owie. I just wanted to play with you. I hate grown-ups. Why do you have to be bigger than me? I've had enough. Small, now grow smaller. Small, itty, teeny, little, wee. Ga, ga, go, go, go. <laughs> the little spin that they do, like, to disappear. That's fun. Aw, Chauncey. Someone having a tantrum. I love this. Yeah, you'll know if it's an area ghost because they do this. It's like, um, some sort of, not like puzzle. But, like, basically they teleport you somewhere. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I love it. I just love this part here. Just screaming at us. And then he's gonna take out his little... And then he winks. Look at him. <laughs> he's so cute. I really do like him. And then his fist just all of a sudden grows to a huge size. Look at how pudgy he is. He's so cute. Yeah, so... This boss fight, um, obviously, for like like I was saying earlier, um, first area, they kind of handhold. This one's actually really easy. Um, obviously, I've memorized it at this point, so I kind of know. Um, but what ends up happening is the horses come. You just got to dodge those. And then the balls come out. And whatever ball like sticks around is the one that you can hit him with. So you hit him, you chill, and you try to catch him. And then he's going to break like that. Um, every so often because like I said there's like phases to the fight so I don't want it to be over in like one second because then he does his little belly flop in and goes back up and uh, does the damn thing again and then at one point he sends out like two uh, rocking chair horses at once but um, I thought I'd do a little question of the day thing um, for this series it probably like I probably won't put the question of the day on the layout but this was my first ever GameCube game that I ever played, and I think that's why it's so nostalgic and why I love it so much. So let me know in the comments, what was your first GameCube game that you ever played? And if you've never played a GameCube game, what was your first console, and what game did you play on that console? Because I know a lot of uh, a lot of people, their first consoles was uh, the Wii. Um, like, a lot of people, their first console was the Wii, because the Wii was so damn popular. Um, so I know not everyone had a GameCube. The GameCube, honestly, I think is one of the lowest selling Nintendo products. Well, the Wii U is the lowest selling, but the GameCube is one of the lowest selling Nintendo home consoles. I think that's crazy because the GameCube, when I was a kid, like everyone and their mother had a GameCube. Like you go over to someone's house, GameCube, you know, you go over to a friend's house. Hey, you want to play GameCube? Like that's just how it was, you know? And then, um, as we got a little bit older, uh, Xbox 360. In where I lived, like in my town, Xbox 360 um, kind of took over and everyone had an Xbox and everyone was playing like Modern Warfare. And then, um, then it was PS3 a little bit, uh, but then it moved into PS4 and most everyone at my school had an Xbox One. Uh, like when that came out, like everyone had Xbox in my town. It, it was it was mostly, mostly Xbox people. But that's what I mean by the special keys. It's like a pink key with like the heart on there. So it's like, that's an area key. 
Kers, Luigi Kers. Who is you? Can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm, you seem a bit tuckered out after that long battle, don't you? Why don't you come on back to the lab? When you vacuum a boss ghost, your poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But, ho oh, oh, ho, I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. Again. <laughs> I'll add the effect in post. Good job, Luigi. You made a pack in one piece. Take a gander at this. This fine piece of work. Uh, took nearly 20 years to develop. I call it the Ghost Portrificationizer. He can't say it very well. He's he's an old guy. <laughs> this machine lets you turn the ghosts you catch into paintings. Not only that, it works in reverse too. Hmm. How do you use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. Just plug that Poltergeist 3000 into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. I love this little machine. Not even little, it's huge. But he just like... It just, like, sucks everything out of the vacuum. Goes into a washing machine. They just, like, go through the wash cycle, which is, like, five seconds. And then hang on. Look at him, look at him, he's so excited! He gets, like, jumping up and down. He's like, look, look, look! And then they put these onto these, like, little dryer things. They press them. And then there's just cow udders, for some reason, with electricity. And then they press them into paintings. It's, it's, it's so funny. But I believe... Okay, so that is Chauncey. I know that for sure. I believe his name is either Neville or Orville. Something like that. And then that's Lydia. I think I know all of their names. We managed to turn those ghosts into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. So then I would say, like, Area 1. Yeah. Do Neville. Okay, okay. And then Lydia. And then Chauncey. Exactly. I love the music. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Anyway, you've caught a total of three ghosts. So then it um, calculates all of your money. And we could just skip through this. So then all of your money um, at the end. So like right now it says like five million. Um, at the end of the game, it'll calculate all of your money. And then Luigi's builds like a, a whole brand new house with that money. And then basically the bigger the house is, the better ranking you get. Where will you go, Luigi? We are going to go to the mansion. And, uh... Well, we've got a little more time here. I'm, I'm shooting for like 30 minute episodes. Um, this says we're at about 27 and a half or so. Um, so I'll do this. <laughs> I love, I love how this does not match at all. That one matched up pretty decently, but the noise, like the whirl, 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 and then the actual like pulsating on the chains on the door never matches up. It's, it's so funny. All right. So we got our little special key. Going into the next area. Look at that door handle. Oof. I want that fucking door handle in my room. I'll tell you that much. Anyway. Cool. So now, we're officially now in area two. Um, there's a few things to do at the beginning of area two. Um, I'm a little bit fuzzy on the details. But I believe the first thing I have to do is go into the ballroom. I think. Which the ballroom is here. Is this the first thing? No, it's not. Okay, that's the ballroom right there. That's not the first thing. Maybe the the bathroom. I gotta go into the bathroom. But first, um, I do remember, if I am remembering correctly, that there's actually a ghost down here in the breaker room. Um, a special hidden hidden ghost, the blue guy. I'm pretty sure he's like right here. There he is. Nice! Caught him. No! Oh, you bitch! Oh, I jinxed myself. Fucking mouse. Come on. That sucks. Well, it is what it is. Um, Unfortunately, when it comes to those blue ghosts, you can only attempt them one time. Um, so he won't he won't respawn, he won't come back, but it is what it is. I don't think that's going to stop us from getting a top rank. I don't think the top rank... Um, requires you to get every single blue ghost. So, um, we'll try our best to find the rest of them. I, I know where a few of them are. Um, I just don't know where, like, every single one is. But, um, we're gonna hop over here because there is a bathroom to the left here that we have to do. And that, I believe, gives you the key to the, whatever the hell it's called, the ballroom. Oh, shit. I'm gonna catch this guy. Nope. Not gonna catch that guy. Alright, just kidding. Cool. So yeah, right in here. Yes, sir. So we just have to like open this little curtain. 
and then they're gonna start spawning. Oh, I hate these guys. I hate these guys. Later on in the game, they get a little bit tougher. Um, instead of like white, they're red. Um, but oh uh, yeah, I hate that. So that one actually didn't damage me at all because I got it off quick enough. Um, but those dudes grab you from behind and like squeeze you and take your health away. They're so annoying. <laughs> Looks like you run into a bit of trouble there. Maybe you need more training. There are some ghosts who will try to grab and hold you. When that happens, try moving your control stick back and forth to shake them off. It's the age-old struggle for survival, my boy. Don't lose heart, Luigi. Yes, sir. And then there's a key right there. Boom! Alright. So, we are now uh, at about 30 minutes. Uh, probably a little bit over. So, I'm going to end it off in this bathroom. Luigi's going to take... He's going to take a little break. He's going to take a little pit stop, if you will. Um, so, guys, I really hope you enjoy this series because, like I said, it is one of my favorite games, if not my favorite game of all time. And I'm definitely going to enjoy revisiting it uh, and playing it again. So, again, I hope you guys enjoy it. If you did enjoy, click that like button. Definitely leave a comment down below and let me know uh, how are you liking the series? How is it? How am I doing? Do you want more of like a walkthrough or just like a chill playthrough? Totally up to you. Let me know. But again, thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.